Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a silent video featuring Shemi de Sherard and her problem.、Uh, we went to fill her up the other day, and、uh, the fuel flap does not open. Can we just、uh, mention this is problem one、horror. of the week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just the first problem.、There's、other problems will manifest themselves throughout this video. So,、uh, to access it, there is no manual override. So we've got to rip this out. So ten no, mil there. No, we're not ripping it out. Ripping it out, ten mil. That's very good yeah, demonstration of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so、uh, yeah, we got to get all this out, and we found out we had to remove even more stuff.、Uh, yeah, there's quite、are. a few trim clips there. Yeah, trying to get the、um, old ten mil out, and、uh, it's, it's really sunken.、Um, it's really、bolt. sunken. Getting it out was okay. Putting it back in was a little bit more. Of a yeah, that was、struggle. not fun at all. So we didn't film that bit, but、uh, eventually, eventually. <laughs> We seem to have many clips of this. Eventually, we managed to get it out using this、um, special little tool that can kind of be a screwdriver and a ratchet. It's one of my favourite、yeah. little tools. Thank you to the hub nutter who sent it me some years ago. But both these sections、now. of trim have to come out. The big black section and the grey section both have to come out to access the fuel. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> it's odd that they didn't put a contingency in place. The Fairmont has a little manual override tag in the boot area, and、uh, I'm now going to show you where the fuel release is. It is this little handle、uh, under the handbrake here. It's yeah, up,、so、up to open the boot and down to、um, open the fuel tank. And you、tank. push it and click, and it clicks. But that's just kind of、yeah. doing a dull thump. That's doing absolutely nothing. So it's a box we use for taking merch to the post office. By the way,、uh, all available at the Hamlet store. <laughs> Good plug. And then there was this trim clip that didn't want to come out. It's one of those where the plastic screws in. And in theory, you can screw yeah, the thing out. Yeah, it just wasn't. It was no. We had to force that out. And、uh, then we discovered that actually to get more access, we need to take the rear seat out. <laughs> so th this is a job, just one of those jobs that started escalating. But、uh, at least it's just two. This started with two twelve mils, I think, on the back. That, of that was twelve. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, oh, that clipped sideways. We might have to rotate、oh, okay. that one. And、uh, I don't know. What, oh, oh yeah, that's the cable. That's where the, the cable, cable run is. Yeah. So that's why we're having to get all this trim out. So it's the cable run for. Try and find where the fault is. The boot and. The uh, uh, fuel flap, and、yep. they're kind of one, and then they go into two, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it's very strange because it is one cable that operates in two different directions, and it's a little string mechanism that pulls down that、um, makes it release. But for、yeah. some reason, as you'll see in a minute, it just wasn't doing that. Yeah, here I am、um, trying to pull the cable manually, and it's still not. Can I just、happening. say, look, at, look at all our rust protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>、um, so epoxy everywhere, and then I identified this is the problem. That cable should be attached, and it hasn't.、Yeah. The plastic has just snapped off.、Uh, But bizarrely, that's what the problem is. That's pretty the joint. The boot still works. Yeah, because the boot is a push rather than a pull.、Mm, yeah. So I think that's why the boot works. And、uh, yeah, there we go. Fuel flap not working. I give this a pull here manually with my hand, and ta-da! Ta Access is granted. Apologies for the buzzing. I haven't muted my phone. We are such professionals. <laughs> But、uh, yeah, this little thing here just isn't popping about as it should.、So、the flap is slightly bent. We had to manually force it open、uh, to get some fuel in the car. We had to drive to Swansea and huge back. Huge thank you to the man with yeah, the, random、uh, man with the tools, tools at the petrol station. <laughs> thank you. Oh, bless him.、Uh, so、He's really helpful. Is that me demonstrating my work? Yeah, I, I、oh, fitted a bit of string. Look how happy <laughs> you are. Frilled face. And then this is the job finished. We've got the、um, manual fuel flap, a bit of string tied to the rear、I、head restraint. And look, you're very impressed. So Daihatsu Diaries continue now with sound, and、uh, we've got another flat.、Uh, we were at Tim's last night, Cambrian Classics. We checked the tire pressures, and、uh, they all needed tweaking a bit. We tweaked this one, got home, flat, and、uh, we don't know if the valve just hasn't reset or if we have actually picked up a puncture on the short journey home. Going really well. We're here at Whiteland Restorations. And、uh, we got the tire inflated. Doesn't seem to be going down but again, but we will monitor it, obviously, and we'll see what's、um, occurring with Shems. Having a bit of a run with Shems at the moment. So Daihatsu update. After re-inflating the tire yesterday at Whiteland Restorations, it seems okay today. We will check the pressure a bit later on, but that's nice and firm. It looks squashy. It's a very soft sidewall tire, and we're only at about 30 psi. But、uh, yeah, good. 
And that was meant to be uh, the end of it. This was meant to be our wrap up of the Daihatsu diary. Really nothing significant, a stuck fuel flap and uh, yeah, a flat tire. But um, today things have gone in an unsavory direction. Um, unfortunately, our neighbor managed to reverse into the car at surprisingly high speed. And uh, we have a dented Shimito. Uh, Miss Hubner, as you can imagine, is rather upset, but upsetting as it is, we got to try and find a solution. So Lewis has had a quick look. What is your thinking? Well, I think to start with, we're gonna pop the old bumper off mm -hmm. and use some hot air or a bit of hot water and try and pop that back out just to yeah, get the shape yeah. back into it. But unfortunately, it does seem that the yeah, bonnet okay. and the door have moved. Which is mildly concerning. Or the wing has moved. Yeah, well, that's quite a gap. That is, yeah, you can check the oil level without opening the bonnet. Uh, I can see when you look down the back of the wing, the, the inner the inner wing has bent out like that. Okay, in front. that's perhaps so unsurprising. I think um, we're not talking structural stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, you drive straight, so well, that's good. Yeah. Hopefully, that's all right. Yeah. So we're going to have to do a bit of tweaking, I think, just to get you back well, on the road shams. for a little bit. Well, that will be coming in a future video, but uh, yeah, until then. Um, yeah, slightly sad times, but uh, don't worry, we've got more exciting content coming fairly soon, uh, as you may have noticed in this walk around. But uh, yeah, this isn't how it was quite meant to go. I can't even bring myself to pachoo. 